I've got a downhill lie, not a lot of green to work with, but I'm too far off the green to hit a putt. I'm gonna show you how you can navigate this shot and get this ball up and down, and you know what? Maybe even chip one in every once in a while. I'm PGA Teaching Professional Todd Cope, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV, and the situation that I wanna coach you on today is this exact situation, which typically comes up, you've hit two solid or relatively decent shots on a par four, or maybe two great shots on a par five, and if you can't get this thing up and down, you are gonna be frustrated walking to the next tee. So what makes this shot difficult? Well, number one is it's the downhill lie. What are we gonna to do to navigate that? I'm gonna show you. Okay, number two is, is that I've gotta get the ball though up in the air to carry it a little bit, but also I've got the downhill lie to navigate it, all right? And then also, what club should I be using? So let's, here we go. Number one is I like a 54 degree. I've even had students maybe hit the shot with a pitching wedge, but the most common mistake that a lot of golfers make is they grab a very lofted club, okay, and they de-loft it. So they grab their 58 and they move the ball back and they close the club face. That is not what you want to do. What you want to do is grab like a 54 or a pitching wedge, take it, and tip number one is rotate the face slightly open. Now the next thing that I want you to do, and I'm going to show you the magic to this shot, actually has to do with the shaft angle in a second, right, is I want you to position the ball so it's about in the middle of the heels. I don't want it way back in your stance. I want that ball positioned basically in the middle of your heels with that club face rotated slightly open. Let me go ahead and just, let me just hit a shot right here. So notice that ball position, it's pretty center of the heels, club face a little bit open. I'll take that. Nice clean contact, flew just barely on the green, couple checks and rolled up pretty close to the hole. Now, that's the setup, but how do I navigate this shot from a motion standpoint? Well, there's two things that you gotta do. All right, number one, and this is the most important, and it is a real gem of this video, is that the club shaft angle needs to be a little bit more vertical. Okay, so low or horizontal, upright or more vertical. Now, why is that important? Well, it's important for this simple concept. When I make a swing, okay, when I make a swing, and if the shaft is very low to the ground like this, the club head is gonna wanna work in and around, okay? That is not a good situation, all right, when I'm trying to navigate a downhill lie. But the more the club shaft works vertical, the more the club wants to swing straight back and straight down the line. That's gonna help negate some of that downhill lie situation. So here we go. Let's talk about that setup again. Face slightly open. Ball in the center of the heels, club shaft angle up. Now, in the motion, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna feel like the club head travels more straight back and it goes a little bit down the line. Notice how my finish is a little bit lower, like that, see that? Okay, so here we go. Ball in the center of the heels, face slightly open, shaft a little vertical, okay, straight back and then down the line. Oh yeah, baby. Perfect contact, nipped it right off the top of the grass and rolled up there. So these shots are a little bit downhill lies, don't have a lot of green to work with, but you can't put it, are not that difficult if you understand these simple concepts.